Hi, my name is Greg Keebler, and I was a lead UX architect for phase one of Streaming Stories, which was launched in 2012. Let's start off with how Streams works. It begins with the WSJ editorial team who needed a way to publish in real time various news content, such as tweets, articles, videos, photos, updates, and photo slideshows. With that news content, we built the Streaming Stories with the concept of ongoing topic, event, or theme, such as Olympics or Hurricane Sandy or the financial markets and allow the user to always be updated with real-time published content. We built streaming stories with the WordPress CMS that allows the small and collaborative WSJ editorial teams to hook in automated feeds through their Twitter accounts so they can report live in the field, but also through the publications platform to aggregate news content to the stream both automatically and manually. Streaming Stories was the first WSJ product to use our responsiveintentions.js framework that allows the users to have a consistent experience in any browser or device that they're using on their desktops, tablets, or mobile phones. Responsiveintentions.js is now available on GitHub under the Dow Jones account. I'm going to begin showing you the actual interface of Streaming Stories, which I'll start with the latest headline stream. And here you can see I'm opening up uh, and expanding to read the full article within the stream. You can see there's persistent shared tools and that there's been one new post since I've been scrolling down, which will allow you to go back up to the top of the stream. Here we have a slideshow that you can click through various images. Now I'll show you how um, you can take the, the URL and share it. It has a tiny URL so that each piece of the uh, content of the stream is search optimized. You can see how you can go into midstream and that, that particular content is at the top of the stream. And of course you can reload the, the topmost post and continue the, your stream experience. You can also visit the original article. So the stream is really a way to pipe the users back to the original sources. You can also use the up and down arrow keys on, uh, on your keyboard to navigate through the stream and enter to expand articles. So you can control the stream without uh, even using the mouse if you so desire. Here's a stream about uh, centering around the issue of confronting Syria. You can see there's a lot of different media types in here as well as updates um, of the ongoing and you can even play video within the stream. The stream also supports live video feeds, which usually we have a, the modules located under the stream name in the left rail, so that it's always persistent and in view while you're navigating through the stream, so you're always constantly updated with the media. Uh, this particular stream does not have a live video right now. Here is another stream, it's the Markets Pulse stream, which is everything to do about the markets. And another one about Malaysia Airlines, another about Egypt in crisis, and the crisis in Ukraine. And this one's about Hurricane Sandy. And this is the world stream, which is really all the videos aggregated from the video um, website. It's a way to navigate through um, the various video feeds in the and group them by the categories or issues. You can also share through, twi uh, through Twitter. And here is a particular category of uh, Syria, all the videos containing or meta tagged with Syria. Next, I'm gonna show you how Streaming Stories works uh, in the mobile and tablet context. Of course, this is using the um, our responsive intentions.js framework, which again is available on GitHub under the Dow Jones account. As you can see, you can expand and read in line all the articles. You can also save a particular stream to your home screen so that you always have access to it as it pretty much acts as an app. And here's the world stream and how video interacts on mobile and tablet. The mobile and tablet are optimized so that while pulling in data and always keeping you updated, it's not pulling in all the data all, that, all the same compared to the desktop, which is using a bigger data pipeline.
Here's the stream of Malaysia Airlines. And this is how slideshows interact, which is using the swipe. Thank you for watching my video. And again, I was the lead UX architect for Streaming Stories. More information can be found on my website. There's quite a few uh, news articles that you can check out on, on the Nyman Journalism Lab website and on the WordPress website through a case study I did with Streaming Stories.